Hey guys and girls, welcome back to this beautiful channel on this beautiful day to another beautiful example where you're going to learn more about classes. So this is just another class example. I'm just going to go ahead and make a nice class here. Uh, for example, a car. And then we're going to add another class into that class. Okay, so this is kind of this is kind of a, a thing you can do. All right, this is important. This is good to know. Now, uh, we're not going to go into detail really about some software engineering terms here, but there are ways you can do this. Now, let me show you something. If you have a class car, okay, we know that cars have wheels and cars have uh, windows and cars have stuff, right? And those can be classes too. So you can have a class uh, wheel, okay. Let me just copy paste this to be lazy. Okay, so what can wheel have? Well, wheel can have a inch, inches, like a size, right? Size in inches, for example. Um, and then, like the depth and stuff like that. And a car can have a wheel, right? Wheel left front, for example. Okay, so what's the thing here? Well, this wheel can be created somewhere else besides in car. Like we can create a wheel, uh, wheel one here. Okay, but do we need to? That's the question. Do we need to? Does wheel ever have to be created outside of car? Now, that's something that you have to decide. All right. Now, in, in many cases, it could be. But in your specific program, maybe it doesn't have to be. Maybe it is wheel can only exist within car, then what you can do then is you can straight up just put the class wheel inside of the class car. Okay, you create it in here. Now, this takes a lot of space, right? Okay, this might take a lot of space and it might be completely unnecessary to do. But you could do this. In our case, we won't because, like I said, it takes space and it becomes a lot of, like, very uh, unreadable. So we'll just keep it like this. Now, that is good to know because that is, if you're if you're gonna study software engineering and software design and UML diagrams and uh, stuff like that, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna talk about that. You're gonna talk about when what is good and how how it can benefit you to do these things in different ways. So just keep that in mind. Anywho, for this example, we don't have to. It doesn't really matter anyway. So wheel has a constructor. Wheel has a constructor, and Wheel has a destructor, and wheel has a, or a car has a destructor and a constructor as well, of course. And there we go. And then wheel is going to have a int get inches const. Okay. And we're going to just say return inches. Okay, so we can get that in here. Now, wheel has a private variable inches. And just because we create a wheel object inside car doesn't mean we can access wheel's private uh, private uh, members here. Okay, so we still need to get inches through a accessor. These are called accessors, just like I said. And if you're going to modify any of these through a function, we're going to say uh, setters. Or no, uh Sorry, modifiers. Modifiers. Okay, now we can just make one just to show you how that works. So, what you can do in a modifier is you can say set inches. Okay, now this isn't the, the best name. Inches isn't the best name. You'd have like size or diameter or something like that. But I just said inches here just to be kind of dumb. That's not a good idea. So, make sure you do, you know, uh, come up with good names here. Inches equals inches. So, int inches. This is not a const because we're changing a member variable. Then you can't have the function as a constant. So, that is very important. That's something you need to know. Now, here, just remember the optimization things that we can return it as a constant reference because we are returning a member variable. And to save some overhead, we could do this. And so it doesn't have to copy it. But again, we don't have to. But we, we can we can actually we can do this. We can do this in this case. Now this is how I do all my accesses and modifiers. If you watch my game 
development videos there I'm trying to uh, keep it very optimized so then I use this but anyhow let's do this now we have we'll have four wheels we'll have four wheels left front right front uh, left left front right front left rear right rear now this is kind of confusing but okay okay we'll keep it at that now we have a bunch of wheels now you can make more classes you can make a class windshield you can make a class door you can do these things and you can add them in here now that is important in game development as well you could do things like this but in our case in this case it doesn't really matter so inches equals zero so we'll just uh, initialize that now when you make a wheel here you can't really initialize it directly so you use the default constructor and we can make a default uh, actually no this is this is or actually yes do you know what yes um, let's say int wheel or int inches equals let's give it a default value let's say 20 inches okay and then this inches equals inches to make this both a default constructor and an optional constructor so there we go there we go there we go now we're good okay and uh, yeah yeah that's perfect now we're going to in here um, get let's see get wheel and then you're going to be able to give in a number index okay and depending on that number will return a wheel will return a wheel and that wheel will print out its stuff so here let's make a few different wheels now this car is going to be really strange this car is going to be really strange wheel excuse me wheel left front equals wheel uh, let's say this is 22 inches okay now we're gonna make a initialize our wheels here left right rear whoops left rear wait RF left rear Ugh. left rear right rear okay is that correct I think that's correct okay so we have 22 inches we have a 24 inch wheel and we have a 26 inch wheel and a 28 inch wheel so this car is straight up crooked okay this car is like gangster lean okay so we have that there now depending on which one we we take now let's say a switch case it was a long time ago we use the switch case case one case two case three case four and this saves us some headache because we have a default here which will help us in life and difficulties so there we go and here we go and here we go and here we go and here we go and then we'll say int or we'll say actually hmm let's make a wheel pointer this is another way to use a wheel pointer okay so we're just going to depending on which one the r equals this wheel left front if we give it one remember the address to it okay you should be you should know what a pointer does now left rear no right front whoops whoops no that's correct I, I, I'm, I'm smart okay left front um, left front right front left rear and then right rear okay so our pointer is going to point to the actual wheel depending on which one we uh, which number we take so if default we'll just say no wheel above wheel 4 okay brah long time ago I wrote brah so here we go okay so it's gonna 
point to that and since we have to return a wheel object here what we're going to do is we're going to return we ptr just like that oh whoops dereference that so it's going to return the co a copy of the wheel uh that that uh yeah that we're that was pointing to so now the question is to optimize this do you want to send because wheel is a wheel is a big object now I would like to send a const reference here uh, to, whoops, we could do that. Yeah, you can send a const reference to a dereferenced pointer and that should be good. So in this case we have a car and car is going to only use wheel here. So we'll create a car. Um, crooked, crooked car and it has its wheels now and then what we're going to do is we're going to get a wheel and print it out uh, good car dot get wheel let's get the first wheel dot get inches this is a long function call let's get all of the wheels and print them out so two, three, four. Let's print these out. Let's see if this program even works. Twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to change the inches of the first wheel and the last wheel. So the first wheel set inches to thirty. Woo hoo hoo! This is gonna go crazy. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, it's a constant reference. Ah, excuse me here. Since we're going to, since we're going to, what we could do is do this. This is kind of unsafe, but you can do it. Just in this case, actually, what you want is you want two functions here. So don't do as I do. Do as I say. Make two versions. Actually, do as I do. Okay. Do as I do. Do as I do. This is better set wheel at an index so we know what's going on yeah do as I do do as I do so set inches set wheel okay and this is a constant wheel reference and this is this okay so this is better okay and then the oh whoops the last one 4 to 30 38 so it's even more crooked now and then we're gonna print them out again just like that. So then we have a 30, 24, 26, 38. So yeah, we can change them and we can uh, print them out. Now, yeah, I apologize for all this hoobla here, but uh, it doesn't really look that nice. But it's a way to show you how classes can be put into classes and how you can return them as just regular objects and change them around and and use their functions stuff like that in chains here so uh, yeah I hope that helped I hope you learned something and I hope you have a great day take care and I'll see you in the next video bye bye